Steve Bullock. I'm the Programme Director for Aerospace Engineering at the University of Bristol. Um, this is a quick intro to a set of videos that I'm making to help colleagues um, navigate the transition to online learning that we're going through because of the coronavirus. Um, it's, it's definitely not an authoritative guide. Um, I'm going to point you towards some slightly higher quality resources. Um, I'm calling this my quick and dirty guide and it's going to be a series of videos that are going to be just uploaded unedited so forgive uh, anything that's incorrect or unclear in here. Um, please do let me know um, how you find them uh, and I, I can make some more uh, on request. Uh, so here we go. Uh, first of all, like I said, the authoritative place to go is the Digital Education Office website um, which if you just search for University of Bristol DEO uh, that comes up and they've got great guides uh, on lots of things. Uh, the nice new green box has popped up, teaching online guidance um, is, is really worth a look. Um, and then the, the other place, uh, particularly for policy stuff, um, is the SharePoint. This is going to go to the wrong place. Let's exit that. Um, so the, the university's COVID-19 uh, advice for staff SharePoint. You can get to that through your uh, email outlook. Uh, just hit the hit the little square button at the top. Um, there's academic advice um, and, and and there's links. This is really useful to me as a program director, um, but uh, it's probably uh, uh, the, the policy stuff. But the digital teaching and assessment uh, is is this really really useful and well thought out stuff in there. The, the central teams have got stuff together, a lot of stuff together, really, really quickly there. So make sure you have a look at those. Um, but here's uh, a bit about me. I uh, have, have tried some flip lecture stuff before. There's a case study on the DEO website um, uh, with me. I'll put a link in the video description to that. Uh, this was back in, I think, 2012. And I haven't really shared much, uh, 2013, 14 maybe. Um, since then. So, so this was my first foray into flipping the classroom. Uh, I used Camtasia to record my screen um, and uh, post it up. Uh, issues that I had are in here. It was difficult to get students to, to keep up with stuff and do the pre-watching. Uh, I imagine everyone that, that uses pre-reading a lot struggles with that, um, which made the face-to-face -face sessions difficult. Now we're in a different world here, but, but this is uh, an old bit. We now have uh, a bunch of really quite good tools available to us. So um, this week I've been trying Blackboard Collaborate, both with um, uh, a, a drop-in sort of lecture session that I gave to a fourth year group of students, about 20 of them there. Um, and, and we ran a virtual department meeting yesterday, which was quite well received. And there's some really good functionality there to uh, both to present to students in, in, in a lecture style, uh, but also to start some interaction and get some feedback. Because if you're not face to face, you, you, you're gonna you're gonna not see what they're thinking, uh, so to speak. Uh, so watch the video on that for some some tips there, um, and and then Skype for Business, which we've had for a little while now, but I haven't really engaged with, uh, has turned out to be a really useful tool, both for the kind of instant messaging functionality. Um, where you might normally go and knock on a colleague's door, uh, that more and more colleagues are starting to keep that open uh, as, as a, a, a brief chat feature. And then for the scheduled meetings, um, then, then there's some, some good tips there. So I'm going to make a separate video uh, about that too. Um, I'm also planning on sharing something about the tech that I use. Um, we, we all generally have webcams built into things now. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have, have done some bits and bobs over the last few years that have led me to um, have some kit, webcams and mics and things, uh, and I'm going to put some recommendations there, but in the end what you've got is good enough. Um, and, and then if I am brave enough I, I might start talking about a, a bit more about the pedagogical side of things, how we can maintain engagement with students, um, uh, a, a bit about the, the personal touch, which in my initial forays into it, I've I found some um, some fairly useful tips that, that I can share. So um, these will all be on a, a YouTube playlist. Um, let's see if I can find it. 
if, if you're watching this video, you've already you're already there. But uh, I'm gonna put them all together in here, uh, topped with this intro video. Uh, please get in touch with me. I'm Steve Bullock. I'm on the university contact uh, address book in Outlook. Um, I'd love some feedback on what you think of this uh, and what other things might help you. Um, I'm now going to finish recording for this morning and get back to my program director responsibilities because we've got a, a bunch of different uh, things and, and changes coming. So thanks for watching. Hope it's useful. Um, appreciate your feedback.